Welcome back to another episode of Reading the Bible with Loke. Okay. Um, I'm trying to go off the rip with these little minute. Um, you know, I'm always working on being thankful for for the little things, some of the things I take for granted, you know, like I didn't always have like a microwave. I can remember putting stuff in the oven all the time, letting the oven preheat. Um, and this is recent. <laughs> and this is recent. Um, uh, what else is like recent? Like having like a nice fan in the room that'll cool the room. I used to have like a small desk fan to 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 keep the room like, and, and then like a certain time of the day, like there was no window treatment. So like the sun would hit the paddle, the, the gravel and all that sun would just zee. It was like a constant to the, to the window. So I'm just staying thankful I'm working on it. And getting better with it too. All right, so Psalm seventy-one. I haven't forgot too, like uh, David saying in the last one or two, like even when the water's at my neck, I still, still rocking with you. I think that's, and I, I think he said it another way, but still, still heavy. In you, O oh Lord, I put my trust and confidently take in refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to say, incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge and a sheltering stronghold to which I may continually come. You have given me the commandment to save me. You, for you, are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O oh God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the unrighteous and ruthless man. For you are my hope, O oh Lord God. You are my trust and the source of my confidence from my youth. <laughs> Upon you have I relied and been sustained, sustained from my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb, and you have been my benefactor from that day. My praise is continually of you. I am as wonder to many, for you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me off nor send me away in the time of old age. Do not abandon me when my strength fails and I am weak. For my enemies have spoken against me. Those who watch for my life have consulted together, saying God has abandoned him. Pursue and seize him, for there is no one to rescue him. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, come quickly to help me. Let those who attack my life be ashamed and consumed. Let them be, let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek to injure me. But as for me, I will wait and hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. Heavy. I will wait and hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. The longer it takes, I'll praise you more and more. That's heavy. My mouth shall tell you of your righteousness and your deeds of salvation all day long for their number is more than I know. I will come with the mighty acts of the Lord and in his strength I will make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth and I still declare your wondrous works and miraculous deeds. Even when I am old and gray headed, O oh God, do not abandon me until I declare your mighty strength to the generation. Mm. So I still got something left. Even in my old age, I still want to tell people how good you are to me. 
what you've helped me been through, what you've helped me overcome, what you've helped my children overcome, what you've helped my children's children overcome. It's heavy, David. It's heavy. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches the heights of the heavens. This is high expect. You who have done great things, O oh God, who is like you. Let's see how this is. Okay. Who is your equal? You have shown me many troubles and distresses. Will revive and renew me again and will bring me up again from the depths of the earth. May you increase my greatness and turn to comfort me. I will also praise you with the heart, your truth and faithfulness, O oh my God. To you I will sing praises with the lyre, O oh, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you and my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will speak of your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed, for they humiliated who seek my injury. What? I thought I was. I thought that's one of the first things I did when I turned it on. I was connected to the internet. Internet, internet. That's a nice, uh, if you want to listen to a throwback mixtape, that's a real nice one. Vic Mensa, internet tape. It's like I-N-N-A-T-A-P-E. It's a nice tape. It's got like orange soda on it. It's just pretty hard. All right, back to the word, Psalm 72. Give the king knowledge of your judgments, O God, and the spirit of your righteousness to the king's son, to God all his ways. May he judge your people with righteousness and you're, and you're afflicted with justice. The mountains will bring peace and prosperity to the people and the hills in the establishment of righteousness. May he bring justice to the poor among the people, save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. Let them fear you with awe-inspired reverence and worship you with obedience while the sun endures and as long as the moon reflects light throughout all generations. May he come down like rain on the mown grass. I'm just going to guess he means mowed. May he come down like the rain on the mowed grass. Like showers that water the earth and his days may righteous, may the righteous flourish and peace abound until noon moon is no more. May he also rule from sea to sea and from the river Euphrates to the end of the earth. The nomads of the desert will bow before him and his enemies will lick the dust. Gross. The kings of Tarshish and of the islands will bring offerings. The king of Sheba and Seba will offer gifts. Yes, all kings will bow down before him and nations will serve him. For he will rescue the needy when he cries for help. That's the second time he's been said that. Within like, you know. The afflicted and abused also in him who has nobody. Nobody. Everybody gone. Mom, daddy, brother, sister, everybody gone. Nobody, nobody. In him who has no helper. That's big, man. That's great because I know even if you have somebody, they're not always available, you know? Um, so that's big. And that's to where their own choosing or, or, or whatever. You know, you can have all these, <laughs> a, a lot of people around you and, and when you need help, it's not uh, available. He will have compassion on the poor and needy, and he will save lives of the needy. He will redeem their life from oppression and fraud and violence, and their blood will be precious in his sight. Heavy. So may he live and may the gold of Shiva be given to him, and let them pray for him continually. Let them bless and praise him all day long. There will be an abundance of grain in the soil on the top of the mountains. Ooh. 
there will be an abundance of grain in the soil on the top of the mountains. Its fruit will wave like cedars of Lebanon. I feel like whatever comes from that fruit, whatever comes from that grain, it's going to be fire. <laughs> it's going to be fire. All right. May his name endure forever. May his name continue as long as the sun. And let men bless themselves by him. Let all nations call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. Blessed be his glorious name forever, and may the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen, amen. The prayers of David, son of Jesse, are ended. What you talking about? You gonna end it like that? You can tell I'm not, I don't think I've read through Psalms like that. So that's it for David. Now somebody else writing. I bet. All right, until next time, reading the Bible with Loke.